Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Uncle Chandel and today I'm going to show you how to load data on SBIS application through Maxell. If you will recall from the previous video, uh, we have loaded metadata through Maxell in our SBIS application and these were the members which we have loaded. So today what we are going to do, we are going to load data on these members. This is a script, Maxell script from our previous video. So only this line, which we have to add, this is similar to loading, loading a metadata, metadata. This is also done in two steps. First is creating the rule file. And the second is putting that rule file and linking it to our Maxell script. So this is our console. This is our application. Before jumping in and directly loading data into our application, first, what I will do, I will connect it to Excel, a smart view Excel. And we are going to check that does these members already have some data on it or not? Smart view panel. Here in a yeah. connection. Connecting it to the space application. This is the name of my application. Ad hoc analysis. Going to select the POV over here. So my scenario, my scenario was actual. Version. Walking. Period. Chan. And year is twenty twenty two. Yeah, and it is East. Refresh it. Drilling down to the numbers. That's it. See, it has nothing for now. So we are going to load a file which I have created. So this is the name of our file, data load. And these are the values which we are going to put adjacent to these accounts, okay? Before moving forward, I will copy my file to my premises. Name of my application is this. Yes. Paste. New. Excel script. All right. It's pull on to so it's pull on to. I'm giving a path over there where I want my log file to be saved. So it's in 
Yeah. So this is where I want my log file to be saved. I will copy as path, paste it. Single quotes. Login. ID. Password. On. Local host. Yeah. I will directly write the code. Import database. As we have already loaded the metadata, so we can straight away go and write the code to load the data. Name of my application. Then underscore planning. Name of my database is DB new. Data from server data underscore file data load. So as I'm writing server over there, that's why I went to my remote desktop and pasted a file from my local drive. Data load using the rule, which I'm going to save it on the server. And I'm going to name it data underscore load. On arrow, I want this, I want this arrow to be displayed in this folder, which is that one, which I have especially created for this purpose. Copy as a path. And I'll paste it over there. Log out. Spool off. I will save it. Let's save it by the name load data LD underscore data. Okay, so before executing this script, I have to create the rule file by the name data underscore load. Rule files. Open data file. This will do. What delimiter I have used? I have used space. 
telling the system what is what, data load properties. My first column is account. Next one is entity. Then scenario. Next, version. Next, year. Next, is the data field. Next, and the last one is period. Okay. Perfect. Going to save it by the name data underscore load. Data underscore LD. On the server. Done. Now I will execute it. The statement executed successfully. That's what I was expecting. Refresh the smart view and see. That's what I, I wanted to load. So this is how we load data into our S-based administration services through Maxell. Thank you.